Welcome. My name is Chris Hoffman. I am the proud superintendent of the Elk Grove Unified School District. It is my pleasure to introduce the Board of Trustees of the Elk Grove Unified School District. Board President, Beth Albiani. Board Clerk, Dr. Crystal Martinez Alir. Board Members, Nancy Chires Espinoza. Carmine Forcina. Chet Madison Sr. Anthony Perez and Bobby Singh Allen. Less than three short months ago, life as we knew it dramatically changed. It was finals week. You were getting ready for the fourth quarter and looking forward to proms, playoff games, competitions, stage performances, spring break vacations, and of course, graduation. Overnight, literally overnight, one of the largest pandemics in our history hit our community and all plans were off. We woke up to a new way of life and a new way of learning. And as I said then and continue to say, there is nothing more important to me than the health and safety of each and every one of you, our students, our staff, and our families. Please know that you've been on my mind every day since we closed schools. Although you were at home, I watched you transition gracefully to distance learning, adjust quickly to a new way of doing things, and step up willingly to help your teachers, your siblings, and your parents. In my heart, and knowing how important graduation is to you, I've wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, for your, thank you for heating the shelter in place. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for your resilience and understanding. Class of 2020, you will always be remembered as one of the most amazing groups of students who literally witnessed a global pandemic. And we're not out of the woods yet. But there is no one I'd rather walk forward with into an uncertain future than the class of 2020. You are creative problem solvers. You are most definitely technology literate. You've engaged the community. You are self-aware, self-disciplined, and self-reliant. You clearly communicate and collaborate. And last but not least, you've shown immense integrity. Sometimes we must make changes before we know what to do next. That's part of life. The skills and characteristics you possess will allow you to do so when your turn comes. You have what it takes to analyze the situation, pivot, and find solutions that work in the best interest of others. Those are the traits of an Elk Grove Unified graduate, and together with the board, we believe firmly that you are ready. You are ready for college, career, and life, even in these unprecedented times. I wish you all the best. I still hope to see you this summer and to congratulate you in person. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020.
Hi, good evening. My name is Alan Williams. I'm the administrator of Las Flores High School. Before we turn to our graduates, I want to thank a number of people. I'd like to offer my sincere appreciation to the teachers for their tireless efforts throughout the year. We all appreciate the work that you do on a daily basis delivering a high quality education. I wish to also acknowledge the office staff, the librarian, custodian, school counselor, for their tireless efforts behind the scenes, keep the school running smoothly. I'm sure everyone appreciates the work you do on a daily basis to help our students. Thank you to the superintendent and our board of trustees for your leadership and vision for the future of our schools and for our students. Finally, to the families and parents of our graduates, thank you for your faith and trust in our school. Thank you for your commitment to independent study. And most of all, thank you for sharing with us the joy of educating your children. So graduates, today marks a significant milestone in your life. The year 2020 has presented unparalleled challenges to all of us, and you've experienced how quickly things can change. Yet these past few months, you have shown that you can rise to the challenge and continue to move forward. Each of you has worked hard to get here. You've persevered and worked towards your goal with unwavering dedication and resilience. For those of you heading to college, study hard. And remember that you're investing in yourself with every test you take, with every book you read. And for those of you heading on to other undertakings, if you remember the lessons that you learned here about responsibility, self-reliance, and a belief in yourself, you'll go far. As you move on in your lives, you will experience moments of excitement, uncertainty, failure, and success. As you live through them, you will experience the gift of creating your own life and enjoying the benefits of it. There will, be con there will continue to be unforeseen challenges, of course, but when you're determined to succeed, you will handle anything that gets in your way. Each of you has greatness in you, and just as your parents are proud of you, each one of you should feel proud of yourselves. Whatever your future holds, we'll be watching and cheering for you. After consulting with your teachers, we'd like to offer you the following challenge. We challenge you to be responsible. Responsible enough to correct the little things that prevent you from being and doing your best. Be respectful. Respectful enough to always say thank you, and I appreciate that, to those who help you reach your milestones in life. Be resilient. Resilient enough to take on all challenges and obstacles that you face along the way. So congratulations to all of the graduates, the parents, and finally to the teachers and everyone else that helped our graduates get here today. Las Flores High School class of 2020, you are a success story waiting to be told. Go out and write a good story. Now, I'd like to introduce our first student speaker, Ureli Vargas. Good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome students, families, faculty, and staff to the graduation of Las Flores. Congratulations. Today is a great day. It's a day to celebrate with your friends and family. The Las Flores teachers, staff, and administration played a major role in shaping us into the young people we are today and guiding us along the way. For this and much more, we are forever grateful. Las Flores is like a second home to many students here. It is an independent study program where we are given the opportunity to take success into our own hands. And even though it is a small campus, it has some of the best teachers and staff. It's an honor to be a part of Las Flores and its graduating class of 2020. Once again, welcome and we invite you to celebrate our achievements in this ceremony tonight. Thank you, Aureli. We will now hear from our outstanding scholars, Michaela Liska and Vianne Terribio. Good evening, Superintendent Hoffman, members of the board, Las Flores staff, family, friends, and my fellow graduates. We've worked hard and come a long way for this, and it's unfortunate that we have to be celebrating it in such a non-traditional way. But I, I'd say that we took the non-traditional route when we each decided to attend Las Flores. 
I came to Las Flores my freshman year of high school due to struggles with anxiety. I've always found it hard to fit in and it got even harder as I grew up. I felt alone and confused and the pressures of high school made it even worse. So I found out about independent study. When I first enrolled, I was nervous and unsure of what to expect. A lot of people judged me for my decision and made me feel even more insecure about my situation. I kept to myself my first year, but when I saw how accepting and understanding the teachers were, it encouraged me to come out of my shell a bit more. I loved taking art class with Mr. Johnson. It helped me express my creativity and he always greeted people with an uplifting smile. From computer class to Ms. with Miss Siddons, to speech with Miss Clements, to Spanish class with Senora Corbett, I felt comfortable to ask questions and get the help I needed. And of course, Miss B played a huge role in my experience at this school. She's guided me and helped me through so many hardships. The entire Las Flores staff works so hard to bring a positive environment to their students and work to, with you to create a learning plan specific to your academic skill. Whether your struggles are rooted in personal life or academic learning, Las Flores is an accepting place where all students can find the help that they need. I want to congratulate us seniors on achieving what probably most of us thought was impossible at one point in our lives. So congratulations us to us, class of 2020, for being strong and inspiring and accomplishing what we've worked towards our entire lives. Let us celebrate and be proud of our achievement graduating high school. Thank you. Good afternoon, Superintendent Hoffman, members of the board, teachers and faculty members, family and friends, and the graduating class of 2020. Graduation is a day that we students reflect on our time in high school and look forward to the future. This is a major accomplishment and one that should be greatly celebrated. I'm honored and thankful to be standing here today. I would not be here without the help and guidance of my teachers who have helped me grow within the last five years. Thank you, mom, for being my number one supporter. You have always been my motivation and inspiration in everything that I do. Thank you to the teachers at Las Flores for not only being great educators, but for also being our friends and those we can turn to when we are at our lowest. Mr. Steve or Mr. K, I want to thank you for guiding me throughout difficult times through my eighth grade year and up until my senior year. I will miss the times when you would yell, hey Vianne across the quad, or stand next to me shoulder to shoulder to see if I've grown taller. Ms. Bagley, thank you for bringing me out of my shell and for always listening when I start babbling on and on about my worries and fears. Mr. Johnson, thank you for cultivating my love for music, for constantly reminding me to enjoy life, and for always pushing me out of my comfort zone. Not only have you all made a positive impact in my academics, but also in my personal development. No matter our reason for coming to Las Flores, thank you teachers and staff for being so understanding and caring. Thank you for making our school feel like home, a place where we could be ourselves, and a place we could run to during difficult times. As cliche as it sounds, the class of 2020, we did it. Our high school experience was unconventional. The majority of us would go to school once a week, meet with our ISP teacher to have our homework assigned. It was in our responsibility to learn and complete the material ourselves. That takes motivation, hard work, and initiative. Every single one of you deserves the utmost recognition and praise for completing another milestone in your life and for your diligence and perseverance. Let us take pride in our high school diploma as we have worked so hard to get here. Cherish your diploma as it is a valuable tool in this world that will open up endless opportunities to better our future. Our graduation should not be the end goal. Instead, let it serve as a start to our future, wherever that may take us. Whether we continue our education at a community college or university, go to trade school or vocational school, or land a job. Today we leave behind our high school selves, everything we found familiar and comfortable, and transition into adulthood. Though it is an exciting time in our lives, it could also be scary. However, let today be a constant reminder that we are capable of accomplishing our goals and overcoming any adversities life throws at us. Class of 2020, I wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. To find a college, a job, a career, or life that you will love and be proud of. Thank you. Hello, my name is William Barant. I'm one of the faculty members at Las Flores. I've been asked to provide this message to you on behalf of the faculty. First, we wish to acknowledge the unique situation 
that you graduates have found yourselves in. We cannot imagine a more difficult or challenging time to achieve what you have achieved. We are so proud of all that you've done to reach this milestone in your life. The resilience that you have shown to reach graduation is a great example to all of us, but hopefully, most of all, to you. We hope that by overcoming this impossible situation, you have learned that no challenge is too difficult, no obstacle is too large, and no hardship cannot be endured. That through respect for yourselves and others, you, and a determination to do the responsible thing, you can achieve and overcome anything. You are already shining examples of this. We hope you carry this knowledge with you as you proceed with your life, so that future challenges will be met with the same fortitude and crushed as this one was. It's difficult to find the right words to describe what you seniors have meant to us, to find the best way to express our immense pride in your accomplishment, to express our sincere hope that you excuse me, flourish in this world and achieve all you dream of. You've meant so much more to us than you can imagine. A great educator once said that I always learn more from my students than they do from me. 2020 is a unique time, maybe more than we even know now. As you move into the next phase of your life, you face unique challenges, what some are calling a new normal. So much of it unknown. Other generations of graduates have also been challenged. Imagine graduating at the beginning of World War II and being asked to risk your own life to save the world from fascism. Because that generation rose to that challenge so well, they are often referred to as the greatest generation. We believe you have shown that you are made of that same stuff. Determined to succeed and make this world a better place in spite of any challenges or obstacles that may arise. You have taught us that through your example in this situation, and we thank you for that. We know that the future is in good hands. Again, on behalf of the faculty, congratulations, graduates, and good luck in all you do. Now it's time to recognize our award winners, our outstanding scholars. Every year the staff chooses two top seniors who they feel exemplify the spirit of Las Flores High School. These students also represent the senior class as speakers at graduation. This year they have selected Michaela Liska and Vienne Toribio. Michaela and Vienne both served as student board representatives for the Elk Grove Unified School District Board of Education. They demonstrate and maintain the qualities of our core values, responsible, respectful, and resilient. They always push themselves and strive for excellence. They are both very talented young ladies, Michaela in visual arts and Vianne in music and dance. I'm sure they will be very successful in whatever they do. Las Force is very proud of these young ladies. Elk Grove Scholarship Foundation has seen fit to honor two of our students. For more than 60 years, the Elk Grove Regional Scholarship Foundation and its forebears have been dedicated to supporting the college and career plans of students in the Elk Grove Unified School District. This year, they have seen fit to recognize two of our students for their hard work and effort. Jocelyn Cruz is the recipient of the Jim Fales Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,500. And Destiny Salazar is a recipient of the Bob Fight Memorial Scholarship for $2,500. Congratulations to the two of them. This year, Las Flores has a number of Golden State Seal recipients. The Golden State Seal is an insignia affixed to the student's diploma and is awarded by the State Board of Education to recognize students who have demonstrated mastery in the high school curriculum in a broad course of study. This year's recipients are Laura Andriga, Logan Fruschauer, Michaela Liska, Zakari Nelson, and Leticia Perez. Congratulations to all of you. Please welcome to the stage Board President, Ms. Beth Albiani.
Hi, my name is Beth Albiani. As the president of the board of the Elk Grove Unified School District, and by the authority vested in me by the state of California, I hereby authorize the issuance of diplomas of graduation to the students of Las Flores High School's class of 2020. Congratulations, we are very proud of you. Eamon Agbar. Sheridan Alvarado. Yasselin Berrigan. Lydia Brun. Leon Burns. Davina Butler. Keith Cha. Italia Crenshaw. Cynthia Cruz. Jocelyn Cruz. Jordan Daniel. Ariana D'Antonoli. Abigail Deranico. Jordan Davis. Laura Indriga. Nicholas Ewing. Michael Flojo. Logan Froschow. Karen Garcia. Tatiana Gomez. Alyssa Gomez. Juan Gomez. Talian Gonzalez Corbett. Elijah Gray. Ariana Habar. Roslyn Hall. Chance Harris. Teriah Hobbs. Ryan Hughes. Juliana Wynn. Jada Efferson. Mary Beth Largo. Empress Lichow. Maya Lipsy Walton. Michaela Liska. Cielo Lopez. Jacqueline Lopez. Ruben Lupsa. Leslie Martinez. Gazelle Matias. Kyrie McFarland. Kaya McKnight. Anaya Mejia. Sierra Mendez. Angelina Milholm. 
Daniel Moniz. Jessica Myers. Zakuri Nelson. Diana Nunez. Osoveon Obera. Alicia Olivo. Brendan Ogg. Leticia Perez. Petsumai Pemasan. Hepzibah Ramirez. Lila Saavedra Barajas. May Saley. Destin Salazar. Avnit Sandhu. Jared Schwartz. Aaliyah Short. Keontae Taylor. Kiana Taylor. Mai Fowl. Pa Chia Tao. Vianne Marie Taribio. Samuel Trujillo. Austin Turner. Yareli Vargas Rulas. Ramiro Vilvazo. Macy Witten. Jewel Xiong. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor and privilege to officially present to you the graduates of Las Flores High School, the class of 2020. Graduates, you may move your tassels from right to left. 